Okay, now that we've got all that out of the way, I want to give a 102 on using um, Google to find your keywords. So um, I'm going to use the my, my cleaning business for this example. Uh, we're going to start by defining the word clean to get some beginning or single word keywords. So I'm going to bring up Another document. And I'm going to type these single word keywords down. Now the objective is to make a list of keywords and keyword phrases that are unique enough to figure out which phrases have the least amount of competition. Um, if I go for, you know, house clean, I'll get 400,000 results in my local market and that's not bad so I definitely put that on my list you want to keep track of the search results and notice I got them in quotations just to show how the result came to that amount because if I take away the quotations it will definitely bring up a more broad result so these are some more C uh, no actually this right here is where I was just brainstorming for a few minutes because I wanted to just take a moment and figure out my market and my by my market I mean who needs you know cleaning service so I really sat down and thought about different people who need my service so if it's cooking you know you can go for people who are hungry you know I like you know people who are lazy that's cool because some people are too lazy and they might just type that into the search engine like I'm just too lazy to clean in fact let's go ahead and uh, see what happens when we play with that how many really did we get alright let's see how many websites are using this phrase so I know that on my website I will have a pretty medium competition ranking you know using I'm just too lazy to clean or using the phrase sometimes you're too lazy to clean somewhere on my uh, website and then that might come up on a search result but um, I'm gonna talk a little more about that right now actually so when you have your search result what we're looking for are the exact phrase of what we typed in which is too lazy to clean and so far we're coming to number four and we're noticing how Google is displaying the results okay and these results will give us an idea of how we can put information on our website um, this is the title of the page and of course it's really helpful to have people on Google Plus adding you know you to their circles and plus wanting your documents or articles that that is the best SEO you can get for your website okay and one thing we can do is 
do the timeout method. I learned this from another uh, YouTuber. Um, I believe I don't know what his name is. He sells a program. Um, I'm gonna look into it, but he said a timeout method where you can consistently go down and hit the last number on the bottom of the page. Do that several times, and Google will time out. Let me see if I can do it also. I never tried it before, so. Oops, messing up on my clicks. I'm gonna try this several more times, because when we did it live, there it is. Okay, in order, oops, here we go. In order to show you the most relevant results, we have omitted some of the entries very similar to the 301 already displayed. Okay, so now we're at 301 people who have the top, you know, um, result to this uh, keyword phrase, which is not too bad. Um, what we want is 300 results or less and I'm really touching the borderline on this example but I just wanted to go over a technique you can use while researching your keyword phrase and seeing which phrases you want to use on your website because you, you really don't want to have too many phrases uh, especially when it comes to having articles and a certain type of niche website which you want to have only certain targeted people going to your website so the key thing is you want to have about 10 to 15 targeted keywords that you find through using multiple techniques and seeing how the search engine is responding seeing how the search engine suggests to you by saying hey these are the most popular results and if they're popular results that means whatever product or niche you're attempting to promote you're increasing your chances for success because the user is typing in exactly what they want to find and you are catering to what the users are typing in now what we're going to do is add a power word to our keyword which is help and see what suggestions pop up when we add the word help as you see they add on clean help I am too lazy to clean my house and we still have three broad results but I do like the creativeness of this keyword phrase. It's pretty broad. But I'm going to add that to. Actually, no, I'm not. It's just too competitive. It's too many results. I, I can't do that. It's, it's going to be a waste of time. I might never ever. I, I just don't want to. I don't want to use that. It's just too, the results is too high. So I'm going to take it back and add on to clean my house and I still see about my room. Still pretty broad. Let's see if I add quotes and add it to my website. How competitive that will be. Still highly competitive. So let's add a command to this. Take off the quotes and see how Google helps us out. And it looks like adding the command doesn't work. So another thing I can do is I can add a space in front of it. Let's see if that will happen. Uh, nope, not not coming up with anything there. But um, I can change the way I'm doing things with a different phrase. Let's try Very high. Let's see. 
example, I mean, you guys can do this on your own, but hopefully seeing this in action allows for you to, you know, perfectly mimic how to do your own keyword research. It's just my index be going, so that's one of the reasons why I've been coming out with videos as fast as I want. As soon as I want to record, my internet just acts up. But um, as you see, I'm not getting any results. So I'm sick. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. See, that's actually very good. I like that result. Typically, I I, I want a minimum of nine thousand. That that when it comes up for a result, I mean like under nine thousand, maybe eight thousand. I'm really pushing it. If it's less than eight thousand, then it's not enough results for me to really focus on. Unless it's you know I I, I need to test it out to see if that keyword phrase even though it's less than 8,000 I'll test it out and see if that keyword phrase is actually giving me um, results which is people clicking and calling and trying to get an estimate because that's what I want the purpose of my cleaning website to deliver for me so I'm definitely going to take this one two three four five keyword phrase and add it to my do a shortcut copy add it to my list five word phrase control V should get me in there please don't embarrass me for some reason it's not doing it I think because I I'm not signed into the right I was trying to connect ah well um let's see let's see if I can do this live. I hope it worked. Well, yeah, like I was trying to say, you know, I, I hope that this helps someone. And seeing this in action should, you know, give you an idea of how to fill out your uh, keywords that you're finding. Basically, you just save the keywords that will increase your chances of ranking. Simple as that. If, if I can't describing any better than that I will try to put more information in the blog post well I hope all is well for everyone if you like this please hit the like button and also add it for the Google Plus people and just plus one this for me alrighty